Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new features from the big May 2025 update for Windows 11 24H2 on the main release. Of course, as I've said in the previous video in which I talked about the main features, Microsoft is still slowly rolling out certain features. We can use Vive Tool, which is a small script that will force some IDs to be enabled. But of course, for certain features, you'll still need to wait a bit because they are slowly rolling out. In this video, as always, I'm going to show you all the IDs that you need to enable in order to have have the best chance of having all the new features and of course if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all of course we're going to set up vive tool on our computer just go into the article below get vive tool for your system platform for example intel amd in this case i'm just going to get it and then i can open it up using file explorer inside file explorer i'm going to click on extract all click on browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder for example in local list C, I created here a folder called hidden features. I'm going to select it. I'm also going to copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract. In this case, of course, I'm going to have to replace the files, but this is how easily you set up Vive tool on your computer. Now open up the CMD, type CMD in the search box, and then click on run as administrator. Inside CMD, first of all, type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool. And now we are good to go to run a few commands. We have some IDs that we can enable. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for providing these IDs for certain new features on the main release. So make sure to check him out from the pinned comment below if you want to follow him and be up to date with all the new features that Microsoft is releasing and testing behind the scenes. First of all, we have the main ID, which is basically an ID that should enable all the new features. And the command is Vive tool slash enable slash ID and then paste the ID. These are the commands. Of course, all the commands will be in the article below. You can just copy and paste them from there if you want. And after each command, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Now we have the main search improvements with this ID yet again. Then we have three IDs for the new search improvements inside the European economic area. And then we have the drag tray, which we can enable. So by running all these commands, we should be good to go. We should have pretty much all the new features in this update, which include the new start menu improvements, file explorer improvements, and so on. So let's just exit out from the CMD and notepad and restart our computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, you should notice all the new features inside the latest main release build. For example, the new create a new app folder inside the start menu, the new improvements for the file explorer, which include the ability to ask Copilot directly from the context menu of Windows. You can use the share section and then you can use the edit function for a certain photo if you want, which will open the share section. And you also have the drag tray. When you drag a file, this drag tray will appear, allowing you to quickly open the share window if you want. There are also certain improvements for the settings app, new dial, redesigns, and so on. The new frequently asked questions inside the about section, the new mouse options that were removed from the old control panel, which you can find inside mouse pointer and touch with the ability to change your mouse cursor really easily. And of course, if you want to see an in-depth list of all the new features that you can encounter, you can check out my previous videos in which I took in-depth about all the new features. You can also open up the Microsoft store and make sure you have all the apps updated. Go to downloads inside the Microsoft store and then check for updates. This way, all the new app updates should come to you really easily and you should be able to see all the the new improvements related to Copilot, Notepad, Paint, the new snipping tool feature that allows you to extract a text from a section without having to take a screenshot, which I think is pretty useful. So as I've said, make sure to check out the article below for Vive tool, the commands used, and more information. Of course, make sure to check out Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com because he provides the best Windows 11 tips and tricks when it comes to new features. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.